Good morning, good morning. It's, it's good great to be with you. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, my toddler friends. Happy to see you again today. Welcome to school. And today we're going to be doing practical life. That means things that, that you do around the house. Your mom, your dad, your family. They have to do the wash. They have to do the sewing and folding clothes hanging clothes on the line sometimes and taking them off. And I hope you can help out because if you can share doing the different jobs with them, they're gonna love your help. So I want you to watch me do it today and then you can do it later on with your family, okay? One of the things is I'm sure that you have clean clothes every day. So I have a washing machine and I'm going to put some clothes in the washing machine Put some soap in the washing machine and I'm putting on a load of wash and it goes woo, 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 woo. okay now I know your family mom and dad does the wash but when it comes out you can put it in the dryer now we make believe it's a dryer and this is a drying cloth dryer sheet and the dryer goes round and round and round and round and round Now, sometimes they need to be ironed. Miss Richatelli doesn't iron often. But I do know that if you take out the iron, you gotta go, oh, it even makes noise. It goes back and forth, and then it's nice and smooth. And I think I'll iron the shirt. make-believe. You can even take your dolls out. You can take out anything you want to join in for your um, task that you're doing. Join you. Now I want to do some sewing. I got this string. Sometimes if your clothes have holes in it, someone in the family knows how to sew. It's kind of like this. You can practice there's a lot of these different sewing boards that we have. I'm just putting it through the holes, up and down. This is called sewing, and that's what happens if we have clothes that needs to be repaired and mended and fixed, it's sewing. So that's another thing that we do for practical life, sewing and doing wash. Well, I'm gonna move this and I want to show you that if you have a whole hamper or a whole laundry basket of towels, I'm going to show you. I'm going to take them out. All towels. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm a little tired. i got to rest. I can still do my job, but I'm going to take the towel. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to fold it again. Did I do a good job? Sometimes in school, you roll rugs, right? You know how to do that. So I'm going to show you that I can roll it even. But most of the times when they're all wrinkled, you try. You try to fold it. You go like that. And you go like that. I know you can help out. Fold it in half and then in half again. And you're helping doing the folding of your laundry. I'm gonna fold this one again. Okay, how'd I do? There's something else that sometimes you could help out doing. I have a vacuum. Look at this. Floor. I think that's a good idea for you to do too, to help out, right? Back and forth, back and forth. So I did wash, I went, did the drying, I did ironing, I did folding of clothes, sewing I did, vacuuming, all these 
great things. Now I'm going to tell you that sometimes you have to put your clothes on a clothesline to dry. So I'm going to show you this new one. This new work. I have clothespins. And I'm going to take the clothes that I have down here. I have a lot of dresses from my doll. And I'm going to hang them on this line. But this is what we used to do during class time with our, to strengthen our little fingers to get our grip. Squeeze it. Sometimes you use two hands. Squeeze it and hang it up. I'll take another. I'm going to place it up here. I'm going to squeeze and there you go. I'm hanging out my clothes to dry because they came out of the machine. I'm using my imagination again and I'm hanging them all up to dry the clothing. Ooh, they're all different outfits and dresses. And then when I come back and they dry, I'm going to fold them also. I know that I'm a very big help around the house. I know you are too. How'd I do? I squeezed and I was able to hang up everything on the clothesline. Now, hmm, let's look close. Pink, pink, pink. Pink, pink, which one's different? Which color is different? Mm, this one, this one's green. So they're all pink and one's different. This one's the green one, right? All right, now I'm gonna show you something else. I'm gonna take everything off the line because it's all dried, okay? And I have something else to put on the line. My mommy asked me if I'd hang up some socks now. So this has a lot of socks, but you can count with me, okay? Count with me as I put them up. One, and they're all different too. Two, you counting with me? Three, Four, five, I hope they could all fit, six, seven, are you counting? Let's say eight, eight, Nine. I'm going to put some over here. Ten. Where else can I find a spot? Eleven. Twelve. Now you're ready for this? When I'm done, I think I'll do a matching game now. I'm going to match the socks. All right, I found a white one. Let me find another white one. Mm, white, 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 white. There it is. I matched my white socks. And I am going to fold them. But you don't have to fold them. Just match them. Okay. Next. Oh, this is a really pretty striped one. So I'm going to take it down. Take this one down. And I put these together. Let's try another one. Hearts and hearts, they match. See the way you can have fun doing everything. I'm matching socks. Gray, gray, they match. Black, black, they match. And the last two, they must match too, I hope. Oh, they do. They have different letters on the alpha from the alphabet on it. They match too. So I made a clothesline. I have my clothespins. We did a lot of lot a lot of work today. I'm tired. 
but I know you can do this around the house and help out too, because when you share the work, you're caring for mom and dad and your family and helping out, okay? Thanks for coming to school today. Thanks for watching me. Thanks for learning. Thanks for being good children every day. And I'll see you again later on, okay? Have a great day. Te amo.